I've always wondered if I'm not a professional commercial photographer, will I do well as a street portrait photographer? So here I am at the River of Life, one of the most interesting locations in Kuala Lumpur. We're gonna find out in this episode of Let's Find Out whether we'll do well as street portrait photographer. Just like those street performers and musicians and our client can pay anything they want. Let me quickly introduce my crew. With Leah ingesting and emailing out all the pictures, and Yukai, my trusty lighting assistant, setting up two lights on wireless triggers. This is our director and DOP for today, Jay. And just like all street photographer, this is how we do it. My head for the money. Photo shoot, photo shoot, pay anything you want. Photo shoot, photo shoot, pay anything you want. Ga, photo shoot na. Photo shoot. Ah, uh, saya hantar gambar. Nak bayar berapa pun boleh. Ikhlas. No? The crowd is so afraid of photographers here because they always probably thought that photography is so expensive. This must be a scam they're thinking. One, two, smile. Good. Let's do one more. Ah, thank you so much. That's good. One, two, smile. Back a bit. Right, this is good. Right. One, two, smile. Okay. Ataupun sebelah sini. Right, this is beautiful. Oh, very good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. I have hope now as a street photographer. Look at my lines of customers there. All right, one, two, yeah. go. I like your YouTube channel. Thank you. I watch your YouTube channel. See, this is time. so inspiring. Thank you. Thank you. Terima kasih. Nanti eh. Okay. Satu, dua, tiga. Okay, this we gonna we gonna get this group. Photo shoot. Pay anything you want. Group photo. I can imagine if they really come in, I'm in trouble. Look at that. I don't have a lens wide enough. I don't, I don't have a I don't have a fish eye lens. E uh Xiao. We've got our first dollar. Look at that. It's Ape Lincoln. We've got our first, thank you so much. This, you are our last customer. Okay. And he's not paying a dollar, he's paying five dollars. That's really a lot of money, I'm on it. That's thank, you. Thank, thank you, thank you so much, thank you. And here's what we find out in this episode in Infographic. We shot a total of 46 people. And because they are group pictures and maybe couple shot, 23 groups paid. So we made 156 ringgit throughout this shoot, which is roughly about 38 US dollar. That brings us an average of 6 ringgit 70 cents per shoot. And the total number of pictures that are sent out to all our clients, 93 photos. And because we have three of us working there, that's Yukai as the lighting assistant and that poster sandwich man, and then we have Leah who is doing all the ingestion and emailing all, all the pictures. And that's me as the photographer. We make an equal split of 52 ringgit per person. Now the conclusion of this Let's Find Out episode. But before we go there, I want to make this very clear. That the purpose of this experiment of Let's Find Out is not to find out how much the public actually pays us. It's not how much we make, but more about what we can learn as photographers going to a different genre of photography that we have never done before. Let's start. The first thing that I learned is that we are not famous. When I say we, I literally meant you and I and my crew. Well, we are not famous. When you hit the street and meet Joe and Jane Public, people just don't know you because the world is just so huge. You may be famous to certain ad agencies, production studio, or maybe even the bride and groom that you've been shooting and they love your work, but when you really go out to the general population, people don't know you enough. And that stuff, that is related to you marketing yourself. So I reckon that we just need to market ourselves more and better so that when you go out, and do a different genre of photography, people still know you. Well, interesting though, I'm elated to know that 
we still met three or four of our viewers when we were doing this episode. They were nice enough to come up to us and say, hey, I watch your YouTube video. And we took some photos together and they even supported this shoot your portrait, pay anything you want. These are the photos that we get. The second thing I learned is that you have better be brave to sell yourself. What do I mean by that? Take a look at all this footage here. Photo shoot, photo shoot, pay anything you want, any amount, any money. Ah, yeah, photographer. Okay. Photo shoot with your children. Nak bayar berapa pun boleh. Photo shoot, photo shoot. Pay any, pay what you want. Hello, fat photo edukulama. Pay any amount. Wanakam salam. Right, I've been, I've been shooting for more than 20 years. If you go to YouTube, you type Andrew Boy. Uh -huh. You see me, you see Trump. That's me, that's Trump. Okay. Yeah, crazy, right? Look at how I had to yell and scream at the top of my lungs to sell the service. Because let me tell you this, if I were to stand there and wait for people to come up to me and ask, hey, what are you doing here? Are you shooting photos? Can I? It will never happen. So don't be shy. Don't be embarrassed because you're going to be putting food on the table, not just for yourself, but for your family and your crew. So sell yourself. The price of portrait shoot, we collected the average shoot is 6 ringgit 70 cents. Look, I am not complaining at all how much we make, but I'm totally complaining of our inability as photographers to market ourselves, not our client are underpaying us. Not at all. We are not just as photographers efficient enough to set a price so that the public knows how much is a decent professional portrait shoot is. If I were to ask you what is the price of a Coke, you know. If I were to ask you what is the price of a Mercedes-Benz, you know. If I were to ask you what is the price of an iPad, you know. But why are the public not knowing our price of a photo shoot? Well, to give you another perspective of what I'm trying to say here, a passport shoot is 20 ringgit. And I know a lot of my friends don't know a passport shoot is 20 ringgit. Now look at the numbers. This is 20 ringgit. This is what we're making per average. So I'm not going around telling that we are underpaid here or the people that turn up for a shoot is underpaying us. I'm glad that you come up to us and take up this shoot. But my point is that generally, photographers are not publishing our price sufficient or efficient enough. Why are we making things so difficult for people? Well, if you check out our website, my boss publishes the price of my shoot and all our shoots on the website. Kind of like Big Mac. It's 10 ringgit 40 cents. Same price for every Joe and every Jane that walks into McDonald's. Everybody knows the price. These are the things that I learned. I learned that when you deal with the public, you need to have a great vast command of language. I meet Indonesians, I meet Cambodians, I meet Vietnamese, very nice friendly people but totally have no idea what I'm trying to tell them. So when I tell them, pay whatever you want, they're asking me how much whatever. You see my point? Language is an issue here. So if you want to go on and do something like that, you just have to grow your brain bigger. You need to learn so many new things and language is one of it. That's what my lighting assistant says. And he was thinking that, you know, that sandwich poster that he's wearing should be multi-languages like this. And there's one more thing that I learned. People do ask, how do I know your shoot is good? But beautiful enough, they don't ask it that literally. They say, can I look at your pictures? Reference photos, which are important. That is why if you're a photographer, get yourself a good gallery. Show off the work that you have done. Well, I realized from this shoot that there are people from certain countries and certain cultures, they're just so afraid of having their photos taken in public. Maybe it's a privacy thing. Maybe they thought it's a scam. Especially that, you know, pay anything that you want may scare them off. Take a look at all this footage here. Photo shoot. Pay what you want. Any amount. One dollar, two dollar, up to you. No? Ah, uh, that. You want photo shoot? Pay anything you want. They don't even look at me. They just walk straight and say, nope, 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 nope. 
But on the other hand, I see people from certain countries, certain culture, they just value portrait shoots a little bit more. They take a shoot of themselves, the wife take a shoot of herself, and then the family and then the kids. So I guess photography is a balance between privacy and culture and the love of the culture towards having the photos taken. I think we need another let's find out for this phenomenon. Maybe they're just yeah. afraid of you. Yeah, maybe it's look maybe it's you. Uh oh. What if we do another one? Maybe we even fix the price. What do you think? I'd like to hear your suggestion knowing this is our average income from this activity of shoot. It's six ringgit seventy cents. Maybe what we can do is US dollar forty? Forty bucks? Holy shit. Let's find out. Now, of course, we didn't include Jay, our DOP, because he was shooting for the YouTube video. So he gets no money out of this. No! No. I want money! No. Oh. You go do your own shoot. We should do another episode like shoot a video. I think we'll get no customers. You know what? Whenever you I meet a, a subs great job. <laughs> thank you. Whenever I meet a subscriber, I pay for the photo shoot. You guys shoot for me, <laughs> yeah. right? Serious. I'm hey. gonna pay. No, no, no. no. I, this is my appreciation for you. Okay. <laughs> well, I, you know, I want to have a photo taken with you. How to say photo shoot oh. in Thai? Photo yeah. Hai ru. Hai ru. Hai ru. Ah, hai ru. Yeah, just learn. Amazing Siamese language now. Let me sell you something. I need your subscription on our YouTube channel. Don't forget. Subscribe now, hit the bell button, tell your friends about it. Hey, even better, visit our website beyond.photos, look at the e-learnings for us to continue to be able to make free YouTube videos like this two times a week. That's what we're doing now, two times a week. We need your support. So go subscribe those e-learnings. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that is truthful, honest selling.